From Susan's Travel Journal, Sunday, July 7th. We are staying at the Lake Louise Trailer Campground, which is close to the railroad tracks and the Trans-Canadian Highway. Neither one of them are any bother for us. Yesterday, Saturday, we did a driving tour along the Bow River Parkway. We were hoping to do a couple of short hikes, only to find the parking and throngs of people overwhelming. We continued on to Banff, which again was mobbed with people. However, we did find a nice picnic area not too far from town, so we parked and walked in and also walked around the town. We found a rather quiet area to kayak, so that was our next day's adventure. Continuing from Susan's Journal, back at camp we fixed great ribs for dinner and then left again, this time to explore Lake Louise area and Lake Moraine. We made it to Lake Louise and we were lucky enough to find a parking place. So we walked around the lake and saw the famous hotel and lots and lots of people. We then drove up the road to Lake Moraine only to find a major traffic jam at the entrance area at almost 8 o'clock at night. So we turned around. We are not big on crowds or traffic. One of the fascinating aspects of the glaciers and snowbacks that we saw is how they seem to defy gravity. On many occasions we kept expecting to see a huge wall of snow breaking loose and tumbling down the mountainside. From Susan's Journal. This morning we had a leisurely walk along the campground path following the Bow River. We then packed a lunch in the kayaks and headed to Vermilion Lake for a quiet paddle. It was very enjoyable and scenic. There are two lakes that are connected by a canal and another one connects to the downtown area of Banff. Lots of other canoe and kayak people out, but it also was beautiful scenery. We saw a couple of loons, a bald eagle, and a female elk along the way. Back home again for a wonderful steak dinner and a quiet evening. Tomorrow we head up the Icefields Parkway. Susan's Journal, Monday, July 8th. We had an enjoyable day touring the Columbia Icefield Parkway up to the Visitor Center. We hiked up to the base of the Athabasca Glacier, which was more climbing due to the elevation than we had expected. We found it interesting to see how much the glacier has retreated over the years. We could also see the large buses that take people up to where you can walk out onto the glacier. We opted not to do that because we have Bella with us. We also stopped at another trail. Parker Ridge to do that hike, but it was so steep and the altitude got to us both, so we turned around. We had enjoyed being out in the woods on a gorgeous day. The drive back to Lake Louise was really beautiful. The snowpack and big snow shelves were very impressive. We saw a number of beautiful waterfalls and even got stopped by a goat or sheep jam. We did not see them as they had moved off the road by the time we got there. Overall, a wonderful day sightseeing. So this big one here is the Columbia Glacier? Yeah, that's the Alabasta Glacier. This is the Columbia Ice Field. Oh, okay. And that, where they drive on, is the Alabasta. And those look like buses up there? Yeah. Yeah, I saw one going up there, so I know that's what they are. on 
the Icefields Parkway headed south, west, east. Which way are we headed? We're, we're, we're headed south right now on 93 on the Icefields Parkway towards Banff. And it is gorgeous. Susan's Journal, Tuesday, July 9th. This morning we left and headed back up the Icefield Parkway, this time all the way to Jasper National Park in the Wabasso Campground. It will be our home for four nights while we explore this area. While driving today, we saw two black bears strolling down the road in two different places at a small herd of elk in town. This area is prone to black bear and elk. We are looking forward to our next couple of days. On the Icefield Parkway and we have stopped along the road for a lunch break in a very pretty area. We are north of the Icefield Center. Well here's some additional views of our lunch site. Tella, hi. We don't know what river this is. The only thing we know for sure is that it's flowing north. Well, this is, I forgot to mention, this is lunch in Jasper National Park. We're no longer in Banff. Susan's Journal. We have really enjoyed our time here at Jasper National Park. We saw all the sites. Athabasca Falls, we hiked the Valley of Five Lakes, went to Malign Canyon, and today we kayaked Malign Lake. Beautiful all. We have seen three bear and eagle, lots of elk, and today we had a moose walk through the pullout we stopped at.
on the Valley of Five Lakes hike. This is lake number five. You come to lake number five first and then you start going back to four, three, two, and then eventually one at the end. It's a very pretty color of the water. Okay, Bella. Yes, smile. Now you can smile. <laughs> All right, you're late to Continuing from Susan's journal, the moose walked right by the car and really surprised Rick as he was coming out of the bathroom. Then she went down into the woods, but as we pulled out, she came back up, crossed the road, and walked a little, then back into the woods. Very exciting to see. We had a nice campfire for our last night here and got rid of the illegal firewood that we had brought from Ontario. From Susan's journal, Friday, July 12th. Our last night at Wabasso Campground, Jasper National Park. Tomorrow we head truly north to Alaska. We have been heading to Alaska since we left home, but tomorrow we go to Dawson Creek, BC, where we will pick up the Alcan heading to Alaska.